The University of Calabar Institute of Oceanography has rounded up a six month training in agriculture for some ex militants under the Federal Amnesty Program. The beneficiaries, whose graduation ceremony was marked recently in Calabar, were all to be productive with the skills they have acquired by the special advisor to President Mohamed Buhari on amnesty, retired Brigadier General Paul Boro. If I say I'm not happy, I'm just deceiving myself. I'm very, very happy. Particularly to see you people graduating on agriculture. Because agriculture is the mainstay now in this our country and is the focus of the government. The skills you have learned they are very critical. It's not only theory. Agriculture is more practical than theory. I want to see you organizing your fish pond. If it's fish, your fishery that you want to go into, or snellery, or, or even animal husbandry, just name whatever. You have developed the skill now. Go and make a difference as you did. Ensure that other colleagues that you meet, when you go back, you also educate them on what you have learned in this place. So that they too have a feel of what you have learned and they start turning their minds towards agriculture. The pro program is on course. It's very successful. You are a success story of this program. We must move on. What we do not want to happen is about this pipe, pipeline vandalism. You can make your case through different ways. You can carry placards, you can do brigade, just play. People will listen to you better. Go and bust pipes. It affects our environment. Our children, our parents, all of our brothers are living in that area. And then the economy of the country is also being affected. A strategic thinker never uses his own territory as battlefield. Never, ever. Also speaking, the University of Calabar Vice Chancellor Professor Zana Akwagu commended them saying, and, uh, I want to congratulate all of you who have participated in this program for your graduation today. It is our hope that the skills that you've learned, you put them to use so that they will help you fully be very productive and useful. And let me, on a general note, thank all of you for accepting to come and learn in our institution. Like the director said, we are always available for you to come back and consult us to clear some gray areas. We'll be offering you consultancy probably for free. Relatively, the House of Representatives Chairman Committee on Niger Delta, which also oversees amnesty in the Green Chambers, Honorable Sina Yi said. I want to first and foremost congratulate these uh, great Nigerians who have, without any condition, decided to celebrate peace. The bill giving a full law to the amnesty program is at the second stage, has passed through the second reading. We are quickly going to conduct the public hearing so that we give the legal backing to whatever we are doing now. Thank you very much for impressing me. That's why I came here so that I can inform you what is on the pipeline. On his part, the State Commissioner for Agriculture, Professor Egrenya Energy, reviewed um, As you are all aware, uh, Cross River State is one of the Niger Delta states, and the threats coming from militancy and other associated crises uh, clearly stare us in the face. And so it's a challenge that government um, is very, very eager to tackle. And uh, we also have a very active program on youth and women in power uh, under our commercial agriculture. It's a program that we welcome young men and women like you to give them some training and then empower them to some class to practice their training and training. And so I'd like to say that it's a, it will be our pleasure really to work in tandem with uh, the University of Calabar to strengthen this training and also to find means of empowering the youth. On behalf of the graduating students, Surubo Amadi Keme said, No matter the economical challenges, no matter the economic meltdown globally, we are still appreciating our president to start with. No matter the insecurity challenges in our region, 
we still say we embrace amnesty. I was like me, I felt I'm not, amnesty is not sincere. But today, we've seen it that in Buarez government, amnesty is sincere. We are thanking you for the last dependent page. No matter what, we are still thanking you. And we are still supporting you. Physically, spiritually, morally, and otherwise. So we are pleading and we are asking the essay. And our honorable is here. <laughs> the legislative angle we know they can support us to see how they can facilitate our empowerment. Because an idol man is the devil's fortune. Though, after the ceremony, there was a mild drama by the ex-militants who were visibly angry because their certificates were not ready. Achibong Jeremiah, Cross River Watch TV.